you have seen this oscilloscope in a few videos by now. Here is a brief explanation of how to use one of these things for looking at waveforms of sound generated on a Eurorack synth. For interfacing, I'm using an OSC-1 module. Link in the description below. For those of you playing at home, here's the make and model. Oscilloscopes similar to this can be found on eBay relatively inexpensively. So the first thing to do is hook up a signal so you have something to display. I'm using the output of a bass drum module. Next, we make sure that the scope is set to display the channel we were connected to. There should be a knob with different timer intervals. Short time interval, the more zoomed in you are on the waveform. A typical adjustment is the waveform the same width as the screen. This knob near where the input connects is used to control the height of the signal on the screen. Usually you adjust it so that the signal in question takes up the entire height of the screen. On most scopes there's both a coarse and fine adjustment knob and you'll end up using both to get the signal just the right height on the screen. There's also a control knob for the position of the signal on the screen, both in the vertical and horizontal, that can be adjusted. If you get a new scope and there's nothing comes up on the display, it is likely one or more of these knobs needs to be adjusted. Another thing that could be a hang up with older scopes like this is setting the intensity. This knob is useful for making different speed traces have the same brightness, but it can also be dialed all the way out, making the trace invisible. So it's something to check if you're not getting a picture. Focus knob allows the dot of the trace to be made larger and fuzzier or smaller and sharper. I usually set it to the smallest size that the scope will go. Now everyone has noticed by now the second cable connected to the scope that I haven't talked about yet. I'm using this input to trigger the trace across the screen. Oscilloscopes will have a number of different triggering options that initiate the trace being drawn on the screen. Some of these will be more appropriate than others for looking at synth waveforms. I find that the best way to get the trace on the screen is to put the scope in ex external trigger mode and connect it to either a gate or trigger pulse output. Then you get the signal on the screen every time. Now that the basics are out of the way, let's talk about how to set up the scope to draw circles. First connect both inputs of the scope to a signal source that can produce a sine and cosine output. Turn up the speed of the signal generator to make things easier to see. Then put the scope in XY mode. So we'll disable most of the controls on the scope, but the only controls you really need to be used being the scale for the X and Y to make the circle round, and the position controls to center it on the screen. Intensity might also need to be adjusted to make things visible. Once you have a good image of a circle being traced on the screen, then it's time to connect it to something more interesting. Hope you all found this video useful and thanks for watching.